It has finally happened! The Romans have invaded Britain, and we have Emperor Claudius to thank for it. Now who is this Emperor Claudius, I hear you ask? Or at least I assume you ask it, I can't actually hear you, you're on the other side of this screen, but maybe you have asked it, maybe you've thought it in your head, maybe you've shouted it and startled your neighbours. Anyway, I'll tell you. Emperor Claudius became Emperor in 41 AD. I don't know how to put this politely, but he was considered by many to be a bit of a wimp. He didn't have the qualities that Romans wanted their emperors to have, being strong and successful and powerful. Claudius got ill a lot. He had a bit of a nasty stammer. He had a limp. So with these qualities, people didn't think he was going to be emperor for very long. Uh-oh, Claudius has a bit of a problem. He needs to make sure that he stays as emperor, strengthens his position. So he decides to come up with a plan, and it was a good plan. He decides to do something that no Roman has ever done before. He's decided to invade and conquer the tiny and pointless little island known as Britannia, or as we know it today, Britain. Now, it has been attempted before. Julius Caesar gave it a go twice and failed twice in 55 and 54 BC. So Claudius had a pretty big job on his hands. Claudius had to learn from Caesar's mistakes. And the first thing he considered was himself. He knew that he wasn't a great general. He was not going to be the one best suited for leading this army. Instead, he found a really good general who could do some good generaling and would generally be the best general for the choice. And that is the general that he chose. And this general, let me tell you, did a great job. Claudius, meanwhile, could chill out back in Rome, put his feet up, eat some grapes, be mean to a slave, poke him in the eye, whip them, call them mean names like hairy elbows, or fat knees. What a life he lived. Secondly, the second thing that Claudius did to improve on how Julius Caesar did it was making everything bigger. He decided bigger was better. When Julius Caesar tried it, he took a measly little army of 25,000 legionnaires. Psh! Not anywhere near as many as you need. At least that's what Claudius thought. Claudius decided to take 40,000 soldiers and war machines and, wait for it, war elephants. War elephants! Just imagine the scene. An ancient Celt stood on the battlefield. There they are with a spear or bow and arrow. They've got their mates around. They're all there with their blue war paint on. They think they're going to go fight some people, some Romans. I mean, yeah, they're wearing more armor and they're better trained and so on, but they're still people. They know how to fight people. And then suddenly they hear as if by thunderous charge, these elephants come rushing towards them. They're massive. They just don't stop. You can shoot arrows at them and they keep on coming and they're stomping on your friends. Everyone's dying. You're going to surrender pretty quickly. And surrender they did. The invasion started around 43 AD when the Romans landed in Richborough and then they quickly marched over and took Colchester. And 11 tribes in the surrounding area immediately put up their little white flags to surrender to the Romans. With this unprecedented victory, Claudius knew he had to take advantage of it. He had to get over to Britain and take the credit for this glorious victory. So that's what he did. He went up to Colchester and he had a 16-day celebratory tour. It was like he just won the presidency. He shook hands, slapped people on the back, said, Good job, kid! And then off he went back to Rome to keep on being mean to those slaves. Mm -hmm. 16 days, that's all it took. 
And then that was it. His plan had worked. Claudius had secured his position as emperor. Suddenly all the doubters and the haters disappeared overnight, or over 16 nights in this case. And now Britain, or at least most of it, was part of the Roman Empire. And it would stay that way for hundreds of years until the Roman Empire <laughs> collapsed in on itself. And in this time, lots of good things happen for Britain, lots of bad things, but that's a story for a different day. That's it! I have no more words to say! Neither do I, no. apart from Aardvark. That's it, I'm done. That's it, that yeah. okay. In that case, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.